like, I gotta be like the pioneer to this shit, you know? I, I, I was popping that Chris Dow and a lot of y'all niggas thought it was B and shit. All right, it's your boy CB, Dolly, it's your boy Figueroa Walk, Slime Wave, check and, it in. Yeah, Slime Wave. This guy cracks me up with this, and this is episode number four, people. Last uh, last week, we uh, actually did um, the last video was not published. Well, it was published this week, but we did it like two or three weeks ago, right? Right, right. Um, so the whole piece on LeBron was a little dated. Gotta excuse us, but now we're on track. We're gonna be shooting like every every week or so to catch up. Uh, we'll be publishing this June 1st, that mm -hmm. weekend. So uh, again, welcome guys. We appreciate you coming out or listening to us, I should say. Today we're going to be talking about Pusha T. It's a lot of drama with that. <laughs> uh, him and Drake are into it, man. I listened to Funkmaster Flex interview last night. We're going to get into that. We're also going to talk about uh, LeBron James. We were talking smack about him last episode, and this nigga came I told back. You. I told you. This guy came I told back, you. man. He is in the finals. Slime way. Slime way. He came back. <laughs> came back. Walking in with the suit shorts on and the blazer. With the Finley gauntlet full of the rings. Mini, the, the mini Thanos gauntlet. <laughs> also, uh, in tonight's episode, we're talking about ring gauges. The various... Um, I don't know what you want to call it, the characteristics of, of cigars, yeah. how Cuba really thought that ring gauges should never be more than like 50 of ring gauge size. And we'll get into a little bit of that and give you guys a little uh, history on that. And lastly, ABC, they clipped Roseanne. That was crazy. Gotta go. Gotta bye go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Roseanne mm. took an L. <laughs> Roseanne, Roseanne took, took an L. L. <laughs> All right, so uh, today I'm actually smoking um, a Tata White. It's called the uh, Michael. You can get this joint at Casa de Monte Cristo. We're here. Northwestern no. Highway. That's his job. Oh, uh, this is my one. job. 28811 <laughs> Northwestern Highway. Southfield, Michigan. Come check us out. Yeah, this is a Pete Johnson's uh, blend. Um, out of the Monsters or Halloween series that Tatawai is doing, uh, I used to really like the Pudgy Monster series. That was pretty nice. Right. I like that one. But this one is an individual set. I think it comes in a box of 10 mm -hmm. Um, $140 roughly, so 13 bucks a stick. It's on the kind of premium side, okay. but it's good, man. This is a good stick. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I'm smoking on tonight. Well, hey, I'm smoking on that Romeo and Juliet, AJ Fernandez collabo. It's really good, spicy, bold. It has a um, good flavor profile. Ring gauge. We're gonna talk about this. It's, I, I can't wait to get into this subject with you guys. And my man, Walt, what you smoking on? Twenty year series. Uh, it's one of my favorites that I got in rotation. Man, it got a smooth taste. Uh, uh, it's a medium on a full stick, about a 54, 54 gauge. Okay. Once again, keyword gauge. We're going to get into that later yeah, tonight. Absolutely. A little bit of history about the gauge. Uh, we might uh, have to swap out and uh, pull a guest in and give you all some history on gauges. He looking the other way, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, this is this has uh, been in my rotation a lot lately. Uh, I've been rotating between this and my favorite, my looking at and my CAO. So I'm smoking on this 20, uh, 20 year series right here. We smoking on way. Uh, well, today I watched the shore and I read the Monte Crisco. Zandu. You look like you watched the short talk. <laughs> <laughs> this, nah, this nigga Wade hey, my fault, man. Wait, no. my fault, man. No. No. We no. not going to even talk. We're going to start. I Tell thought them you what kind of shoes you got on today. Uh, these are my smoking shoes, man. You <laughs> should <laughs> man. Don't, don't forget the Salvatore. <laughs> you know, you, gotta, you know, feeling good. You got to feel good, look good. You know, it's all the same. I feel that. I feel you. So what I you feel. smoking on? I'm smoking, like I said, I'm smoking on that Monte Cristo Zandu. Um, hope I'm saying it right, you know. You know how we, how we do sometimes. We like things that we can't even pronounce, right? Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You still like them. It's a real good flavor. Uh, it comes in a glass tube. Don't know what I'm really going to use the glass tube for when I get done with it. Correct. But I take it. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You know, Correct. You know, maybe I may... Give one of, your, one of your girls a two for one, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, a twofer. <laughs> a twofer. 
You know, you know me, I don't got no manners. Nah, he don't. <laughs> no. He, he no don't. manners. He really don't. No, no manners. filter. No filter. Nah. But it's, it's a real good, it's a real good body Crisco smoke to me. One one of my favorite uh, Dominican blends. It's not, a, it's not a Cuban, it's not a Cuban C, but it's one of my favorite Dominican. Mm. Cool, cool. So, I guess that kind of segues us into um, the first topic. Which is ring gauges, right? Ring gauges. Ring gauges. And um, for you guys, we're going to kind of go over a few things about our preferences about ring gauges, how it, how it even came about. So it, it actually started with, it's 64, it's considered one inch. So that's the standard. That's how that's how they kind of measure everything on the, on the stick. So in Cuba, you know, they really didn't in the past go higher than 50. That's kind of what the tradition was, but over the last five to six years, it's been been becoming very popular that smokers are looking for a larger ring gauge. So really anything above 50 in Cuba mm-hmm. is considered a really, really uh, large. And that is a growing trend. We're seeing more than 50% of the sales uh, nowadays are above 50, 50 gauge. Yep. Yeah, 50 ring gauge. Yeah, so. if you look at it uh, like 10 years ago, it, it, you, you wouldn't have seen like Mm-mm. a 60. Mm-mm. Probably yeah. like in the, the, the mid-1990s right. is when the, the, the gauges, it, it was, in other words, cool to have a, a bigger ring gauge. Right. But prior to that, 10 years ago, you would have, what the biggest you would have, probably maybe about a 40, 50 ring gauge. It, it, just, yeah, wasn't, so, it just wasn't the norm yeah, to like see a big ring to gauge. Fi- 40 to 45 was, is considered standard. standard. That's your standard ring gauge for a cigar. So... You know, it, it's crazy now. We don't. I mean, most of the cigars I see are now like forty-eight and up. Yeah, fifty and up. You know, I see. With you. I see a lot of people just going up and up, and just up of in a way. It, it, it's just <laughs> <laughs> when <Bye>. you. Do, <laughs> man, you know, I pulled this um, one cigar out. Oh, it's a guy. Is it's a guy. What you is know, that, dude? it's the like lunatic. It, it looked like it needed to be in another movie or something. Uh, yeah. yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Some people enjoy it, and you know why? I'm not gonna knock your preference. It's comfortable to them. Some people, I am. This is going It's comfortable for them. But me personally, I um, look, I'm looking at it like, nah, this is not for me. Not for me. I'm not in training to do porn, so I'm not messing with that. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't get. For me personally, I don't get why anyone want to smoke this because it, the, there's no taste. No taste. It's all to just tobacco. It's all mm-hmm. smoke. And normally you're smaller. That's why Cuba, they like the master blenders out there like smaller ring gauges because you get more of the flavor mm-hmm. from your cigar. The and cigar forget, comes from the wrapper. And mm-hmm. don't forget when they unleash a new cigar, they, they, they right. reveal it in Lancero. Correct. Mm-hmm. So you Mostly, can taste yep. the full flavor profile. Yep, exactly. And they build out from there. That's true. Um, what do y'all think? I mean... There is one you said you saw my man the same dude buy this. You saw you saw him down at the casino, right? Was that you? No, I think that was I Oh, Donnell. Oh yeah, he said, yeah, this it was, it was ridiculous. He had an 80 game. <laughs> he had the whole he like this. It, it was a two hander. I mean uh, no, I, no, no, <laughs> I mean, no I, illustration I needed. No, <laughs> no, come no on, illustration needed. Two hander, you know. Horrible. If that if that's for you, that's for you. But you know, people taking pictures with him. Porn stars was coming up. They was wondering how how to get this down. You know, I don't understand. Maybe I maybe I'm new to this. <laughs> but, oh uh, man, that's not that's not that deal. Yeah, y'all gotta let us know. Do you what is your preference as far as your ring gauge? Do you like um, a standard between forty and forty five, mm-hmm. a, little, a little larger? Um, I personally, I stay around fifty. That's about mine. I know the Co- the Cohiba Beheki is a fifty four that we. And that's about as. That's, that's, that's about. Really that's about as big perfect. As I go. Yeah. yeah, that's about as big as I, I'll go. As it well. makes no homo silly. Pause. It makes sense, <laughs> silly, but I like the fifty to the fifty four because I can just put it in my hand. Right. It's like yeah. it just it fits between my fingers. It's like once it's in there, it's in there. Oh, right. for real? Yeah. For real? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm well, here. Are you in yet? So. <laughs> that's how you like. I'm already there, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's but, in there. but anyway. It's in there. <laughs> I prefer the I prefer the fifty four uh, ring gauge. For me, uh, I, I like it gives me better draw, uh, mm-hmm. better taste. Uh, also, like just for this, for example, uh, box press. So it's a nice grip right there, nice hold. Mm-hmm. You know, so if I'm you know, but I smoke when I drive. 
you know, I got a nice hold, and if I'm rushed out of traffic, yeah. So I like a, you know, box press. Can't go wrong with a box press. And like I said, for me, the 54, I get, I like to draw. You know, I don't have time to be sucking a like I'm hitting a joint. I like a right. nice good draw. So yeah, that's my preference. That, and that you bring up a good point because <laughs> <laughs> because when you go larger ring gauge, it goes out more. So you got to continually relight the cigar. So it's a lot of complications with having larger ring gauge uh, or smoking larger ring gauge cigars. I, I, per, I personally don't like it. You know, and then not only the ring gauge, the length of the cigar uh, means a lot. You know, the flavor profile, how long you want to smoke, mm-hmm. how, how short you want to smoke. You know, if you think about the, what is that, the dog whistle, the uh, walking dog. It's a, it's a cigar out there. Uh, the guy made it while he was walking his dog. 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, he's, he's walking his dog having a good time and it's done by the time he's done uh, with the length of the cigar Mm -hmm. and you know regularly with a longer cigar it's for celebrations and uh, big ceremonies and things of that nature so you want to sit back relax smoke a good cigar have a nice ring gauge have fun flavor profile is different so hey it's up to you longer smoke but also question question for the fellas questions for in the back a beginner smoker Beginner cigar smoker. We I know last episode we touched on the women, right? But right. also with a whether a guy or woman, what's a preferred ring gauge for a beginner smoker? Do you want to take mm, them under fifty four, or do you want to take? I mean, a preferred a real ring gauge. You want to take them under? Okay, so take them under. Okay, yeah, I right. think so. I think I would go standard forty, yeah, forty five. Yeah, I know. And, and more of a lighter. Uh, uh, more of a lighter kind of a you know Connecticut, Connecticut. more of a lighter. Let them um, enjoy the cigar and get a taste for it first. You know, it's just like what, what we said before: uh, white wine to red wine. You you it get complex uh, as you go along as your palate changes. So if you're gonna get a beginner smoker out there, smaller ring gauge, lighter leaf. Uh, let it roll around in the tongue and let them the smoke so they can understand how the flavor profile is. Let it roll around in the tongue. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, especially a woman. Oh, you you, you talk about box presses. <clears throat> and one interesting thing, people, about cigar ring gauges, we're called the Figurado Fellas because the Figurado is a unique and more fancier style or shape or roll of a cigar. Mm-hmm. Um, right, you got those by um, Arturo Puente. Those are great. Mm-hmm. But... Uh, um, the more like fancier rolls, the ring gauge is actually um, measured by the foot mm-hmm. on those. Like a Figurado, they they're measured at, at toward the foot. That's okay. How they read, yeah. That's okay. How they measure that. When you look at where we smoke, we got some professionals here. You know, here at yeah, we smoke till we choke. <laughs> you feel me? Walls we till we fall. Yeah. We smoke till we choke. Correct. Absolutely. That absolutely. That is our saying. If and, any, anyone else you hear saying that we gonna sue their ass because we got copyright infringement coming real soon absolutely Ball, i call it Smoke Mike. Choke. i guess we can talk about lebron we were bagging on this dude last week i'm the only one who was holding him down you were man gauntlet time baby lebron and lebronettes <laughs> right is what you call them man he playing with poo poo doo doo Kanye West him. Yeah. But uh we um we were talking I ran into you yesterday yeah. and we were talking up to a guy that we had a nice conversation about LeBron. He's saying basically that LeBron is undoubtedly the best now. The GOAT I, right I, now. I told him we gotta wait. If he wins this series, then I do have to hand him over that crown, man. I got to. So, I, no. I, mean, I see okay. what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I mean, I believe he's the goat already. He he's doing. Yet. He's doing more with less. The goat of all time. <laughs> literally, 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 with less. With more. With, with less. less. The only one that can do it. Yeah. The only one that can. Do we it. tried. Yeah, we tried. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we, tried. <laughs> we tried. We had to bow out. We yeah, went we out like uh, yeah, we tried. Four right. Toronto, LeBron. My, my you... hang up with calling him the greatest is. I mean, I grew up watching Jordan. It's like when you say the great, when it comes to championships, six and zero. Like and that's what we were talking should about. Should you weigh that upon that? Uh, that's what we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, we, I, I had a debate with a guy. Who said mm-hmm. when you start getting that to that upper echelon, and you're starting to compare athletes, I gotta pick. I gotta be nitpicky now. 
I see what you're saying. So you, I mean, you ain't got six rings. What about Hori then? He got seven. What about See, Bill Russell? A, he got a, eight. That's, that's, I mean, that's I'm just one saying. Check box. That's I'm just saying. Box. That's, that's that's okay, that's I'm just right saying. Right. If we we if that's the check box that we're gonna use to, to grade them at, mm-hmm. you know, no, we got to put other one. people in. No, now, no. wait a minute. Now you mentioned <laughs> you mentioned Robert Porter, mm-hmm. big shot box. Yep. He is the greatest X factor. When you when you rank him to all the other greats, he's not a Michael Jordan. Nope. He's he he's not Kobe Bryant, but he was good at that slot that he filled. That right. makes him the greatest. Ex-factor. And he didn't carry the team. Nope. So that's why we can't. I can't personally I say if I'm putting them in that. I'm just saying yeah. when you start getting to LeBron, Jordan, Kobe, these guys have checked almost all the boxes. So what's left are rings. I don't. You gotta. So, we, so, so you saying you comparing based off rings? At this that's point, because that's accolades. all was left. You do? That's all was left. No, you know but you what? Know. I, won't, I won't give him the title as the GOAT. I might give him the title of his error. I might can give him out of his oh, error, especially, especially if he get it now. I got to go with but, like I said, But let me, fin- let me finish. When you look at that, though, my thing is I wait towards more to Kobe just for a simple fact. What I look for in NBA players and, and my error is Kobe – once he hit that foot on that neck, he's once he smelled that blood, it was over. He like we gonna put him down. LeBron was more like you know, hey, I'm gonna get this pass. No, Kobe like I got this. We gonna put him down, and that's the one thing I knock LeBron for. That's why I can never put him over Kobe. But if you say in this era, you I would give it to him because Kobe not playing anymore. He's still playing. Kobe stop. So you might want to. Measure the the length of their careers year wise, oh, but you know, so that, that will give LeBron a little bit more. They both came out of high school, but if you just look at that simple fact alone, Kobe had a he was a killer. He had a killer instincts, and I love that. LeBron never had that in his career ever. Don't let me, have it now. Let, let me just tell you, yeah, he do. He he, 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 he a killer a right now. He is massacring you people. You bump him right Ain't, now. He flopping all over the joint. just like Jordan was. Flopping all over the Crying and flopping. Let me tell you, 15 years in the game, LeBron is outperforming every superstar there ever was. Period. He's playing at a higher level 15 years in the game. To, hey, guys, you just tell me. Who was his coaches? I know uh, I, uh, yep, I know Kobe yeah. had Phil Jackson. Yeah, that's LeBron true. had nobody. I know Michael Jordan had Phil Jackson. LeBron, LeBron had, had nobody. nobody. <laughs> you, uh, you, Magic Johnson had uh, Pat Riley. LeBron, LeBron had, had nobody. nobody. So you said LeBron had a less of a coach. LeBron ain't never had a Hall of no, Fame coach. He coached himself he's to coached, the championship. He's, he's coached, coached himself. <laughs> he <ain't not> lying, <laughs> Tyrone Lue ain't no real coach. Nah, he not. Come on, man. Yeah, Are we? And, and, and Mike, Sports, he's still Sports got or whatever and was a proxy to, <laughs> to uh, what's his name? This dude has come out of high school with a, as a basketball savant. You ain't never seen anybody come out of high school. Coming in, scoring. Kobe didn't do it. He was averaging six points a game, seven points a game, eight points a game his rookie year. Here comes LeBron, 21. Coming in, rookie of the year. Beasted. All, every year. I will, say this, though, I will say this, though. <laughs> He got a gain tonight, so he's going to need his balls back. Oh, no problem. Uh, no, you know what? They clean up. <laughs> they, hey. Right. <laughs> no problem. Y'all y'all pray at the altar of, you know, y'all prisoners of the past. Y'all pray at the altar of Jordan. Jordan's been gone. Hold on. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. He's gone. Out of all of Le- I'm a LeBron fan. Matter of fact, I just bought my first pair of LeBrons this year because I seen things this year huh? and I was like, yo. Those LeBrons? Those LeBrons? No, these. No, no, oh, those I bet you LeBron wears them. <laughs> but I'm saying he made some plays this season that I was like, "Whoa, this dude is." No, he's up there, dog. You got it. Mm-hmm. I don't care. You can give him a dozen of these round one non closeout game buzzer beaters. No, it was round two, bro. They were, they, they're not closeout games. Against, against they were the, not closeout Jordan games. Jordan pushed my man. They were not, oh, guess, no. No, no. That play, tell me, single-handedly, the sequence, the best, the sequence the best, of events yeah, the best is play the greatest in, in play of history. modern basketball. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Run it back. No run doubt. it back. Come on. Run really? Back. That's the one they run, run back, back on the media. And, and you a media house. No, 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 no. With the Illuminati hand. No, 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 no. 
back. Roll it back. Roll it back. Roll it back. I'm glad you. No. I'm glad you mentioned that because I got a point on that. The inbound. Mm-hmm. Malone on the inbound. Mm-hmm. Jordan smells blood in the water, like you say, Kobe. Yeah. This is a difference between two different kind of killers. Right. Mm-hmm. Jordan sensed. What is he doing with the ball on the inbound? Right. Comes around the back. A clean smack. Yep. Showing no fear. Yeah. Because if he had an ounce of fear, he would have fouled him because you can't mm. see straight. The eye, it got his eye on the target. Boom, a clean got smack. The eye of the tiger. Got mm. the ball. Mm. Get off me. Yep. Looks mm-hmm. up at the clock. Oh, mm. shit. I got something to do. Let me hurry this up. All right. Pushes it down the court. Mm-hmm. Yeah. ISO. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sees my man first. He hit Russell with the exact same play the game before. He knew his weak side. Yeah. So yep. he got him. Boom. Mm-hmm. He like, oh, you about to take me with you? Nah, not today. It was just a slight to get a out of the way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Took it. Six ring. Six seconds left on the clock. Buckets, dude. Buckets. That was. Sound like that was the greatest. Me. That, that was the greatest six, one. You that's seen? Six. Called, and that's called six. the last <laughs> shot. <laughs> You yeah. Push a T, six, 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 six. six. <laughs> you know, but let me tell you, that was the greatest I mean, one. that's that was real cute what you said. I, I heard. Yeah, it yeah, too. that was very. I, it was cute. Was, it was informative. Thank that you for that. Was narrated the, real, real nice. You know, thank you and for he going was down. down. And, but you he know what? Go ahead. Thank you, Brian Gumble. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> H- HBO but, uh, but I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> the one play that I saw that LeBron made when he was down three one in the finals. Oh. Three one in the finals never came. No one's ever came back from the three one to the finals. Don't have to go down three one. Well, say, he, hey, when you Hello. got when you got cats that you playing with, there's always hurt Kevin hate or Kevin love oh, or. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but when he tracked down Iguodala on that fast break, and he Iguodala was three, four steps ahead of him. He came out of nowhere. That block sealed the game. It was gone. He made it possible to make the right basketball play. See, LeBron Again, makes the that's LeBron a good play. makes the uh, bruh. He pent that ball to the rack. Iguodala was going up. No, he he erased that. I get it. Sealed the game. Averaged a triple double forty in the uh, in the finals. I ain't I, and in his fifteenth year, ain't nobody. He's dunking on people. He's like he's like the Terminator out there. I ain't never seen nobody play at that high of a level. With that much wear and tear on their body. I will give him this. Out the three, LeBron, Kobe, Jordan, I definitely would say LeBron has, he's the most athletic of the three. Yeah, I you agree. You know, he's the most athletic. The things well, that he's doing. Well, my, LeBron James. I mean, Kobe <laughs> Bryant. <now>, Michael Jordan. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Since he never had a coach, and you rely on your athletic abilities. No, nah, he's relying on more than yeah, that. Yeah, he re- but let's say, hear me out. He never had a real, super real coach. Mm-hmm. Right. And you say athletic ability. Mm-hmm. So you can say that's wrong. But what if I have a good coaching and that's brains? You don't have to be so rugged. Well, you the can thing use a basketball is. IQ. Well, he uses his basketball he IQ. Does. He has a high, yeah. high, high IQ. He does. He does I have the, to give him he's, that. he's a pass first. He has a high IQ. Dude. I, I've never seen a dude that he pass first. He makes the correct basketball play. Mm-hmm. He might not make the killer play like you guys want him to do. Right. But as far as hitting the open man for the open shot, that's why I say he's playing with doo doo because they don't they don't hit nothing. He. Got <laughs> <laughs> but when you're the man and you know you ain't got no trust in that guy, why you still passing on the ball? Maybe he tired. He maybe he's tired of Kobe. Kobe wouldn't do that. Jordan wouldn't do I that. I say this instead of trying to trump him over Jordan. I'm from Michigan. I went to Michigan State. I would say he's the new Magic Johnson. There you, we talked about that last night. Magic. We he's talked the Magic about that, that last you didn't night. get to see. Right, because you know, HIV came and clipped him. You know? Well, he was clipped already. He was old. Yeah. I mean, he was like, hey, 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 what? Oh. $2 investment, man, could have gave you the greatest basketball career. How much Trojans in that year? With inflation calculated, it's about uh, $1.50. Right. It's cost you $100 million in three rings. Hey, but, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> See, the way, the way Magic thought about it, if I, if I strap up, I can't give him showtime. So, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> he had to hit him with the no-look. I got it on. <laughs> the no-look. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, but so y'all gotta let us know what y'all think. Let us know. Other three 
And it, no one will ever be right because it's 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 uh, subjective. subjective. It's yeah, it subjective. is subjective. But, but let's have passion. a conversation. How passionate are you about? Yeah, your favorite man. Yeah. I I still roll with Jordan. I actually I thought I actually went bust on my pick. I thought Derrick Rose back in 2012 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. would have been mm-hmm. the greatest. It, well, not the greatest. Would have been a, a, in the conversation. The yes. Yeah, yeah, in the yeah, conversation. Yep, yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. I agree. I know, agree. But that dude was so good. He he hurt him. He juked himself. Yeah, Mr. Glass. Mr. Yep. Glass. Mr. Yep. Glass. <laughs> but he plays that good. He hurt himself. Yeah, yep. his body couldn't yeah. take that wear and tear. Couldn't. Sound yep. check. D-Wade, 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 check D-Wade in the hospital. At a certain point too. I thought he was going to be a little bit better. I thought LeBron was going to be not LeBron. I thought Kobe was going to be that one to take Eclipse that eclipsed uh, Jordan. Yeah, I had, did too. Never, I think the NBA prevented that. When remember that one season when he wanted to get Chris Paul and they, oh. and they got that through. They the they NBA blocked stepped it. The league blocked, blocked it. That, that was but whack. They didn't block. LeBron yeah, yeah, that was black. That was that was whack. Like, that was whack. That was yeah. political. Yeah. Political. <laughs> Monte Cristo. Uh, <laughs> where you can find that at here. Dolly. And where we oh, smoking at again? And where we smoking at Dolly? It's two eight eight one five Northwestern Highway, Southfield, Michigan. Come on out. Yeah. We got just good smokes, good conversation, great laugh. Walk in humidor. Don't ask them hours because he don't. He don't uh, open. <laughs> open. Open. Just open. You open. see the ring? Open. Open. Hours are open. 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 To close. So tonight, uh, <laughs> open to, to close. close. <laughs> tonight, y'all going to watch the game? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah We're yeah. going to watch the game. We're going to get game. together and watch the game. I'm going, I'm going to go to state. going to take game one. Okay. Oh, so that's definitely Golden State. I got I got Cleveland for the team. I got Cleveland by four. In the first game upset, just like I call Toronto. First game upset, first game knockout. LeBron, get them shook. Oh my God! All right, well, this is what happened when you smoke a lace cigar. Fifty one. <laughs> you got hey. area. Well, you got an area fifty one. Area. We got an area fifty one on our on our hands here, people. Area fifty one. Wait a minute, now I mean Kevin Love got that concussion. He's back. Have, have anyone, Man, ever, he's had always... con- anyone ever had a concussion? <clears throat> yeah, I have. When Dude. I was about three or four. Do you? I mean, you know how loud that arena is going to be. And then that whole team is light skinned and they wearing yellow. <laughs> Dude, oh, oh, oh my God! Dude, his God. eyes is going to be this bugging. <laughs> his eyes is going to be bugging. But Iggy Dude. ain't Iggy ain't playing. Dude, I had a concussion. Iggy? Each footstep, the vibration, your noise. Oh my God! And all that yellow. Mm. Oh my God! They gonna turn the lights up extra bright. I'm it's- going with I'm going with Splash Bros. Plus one, and uh, they gonna make it happen. They're gonna make it happen. They're gonna win the series, actually. Come back, holler at me. I Next week, holler at me when I when that prediction comes look. through. I'm just gonna laugh at you. Clay. <laughs> Clay. The three, <laughs> the three <laughs> turn into an L, man. <laughs> <laughs> the three, <laughs> three gonna turn into an L, man. I gotta be like the pioneer to the shit, you know. I, I, I was popping that Chris Dow and a lot of y'all niggas thought it was being shit.